Hello everybody, this is Allsells Gaming Gandu. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Unsighted. In the previous episode, we started our adventure, well, as an amnesiac, in an abandoned lab laboratory, but quickly found our way out and discovered that there are some very scary things going on. Thankfully, uh, we got found by a friend of ours. Whose name I have forgotten. By the name of Vanna. Who has basically filled us in on everything that's going on. Uh, basically, there is a crystal that impacted this planet a long time ago. The material, essence, what have you, that comes off of this crystal... Uh, basically gave all the robots and androids, whatever you want to call them, sentience. Humanity didn't like that and decided to fight back against the their creations and eventually sealed off the crystal, meteor, whatever, which cut off the anima, which means everybody's time is slowly running out, or at least it would be if I wasn't playing on Explorer mode. And in order to get through this, we need to collect all the meteor shards that can be used to create a weapon that can get us into the crater to destroy the device holding the meteor hostage. But before we do all that, well, one, we gotta hit up a distress signal to get some gear that we need, but let's take a look around Gear Village. We got these items in cases that you'll find at various places around here. Hey, don't touch that. This weapon. The doctor used it before she passed away. Yeah. That actually reminds me. We did get a weapon for beating those monsters. The Flame Blade. A better upgrade to the Iron Edge in terms of damage. But it also costs more stamina. But I'd say that's worth it. Alrighty then. Now, in order to acquire these items, we need an item that we have not yet found, and we need to give it to the individual whom is in the room with the item. And we need to do that four times. So it's not going to be something we're going to be doing for a long time, and there are several characters, all of whom give us rewards for doing that for them. Ah, jump too far. Didn't jump far enough. And we may as well go around and meet these characters. Ooh, how convenient. Meteor dust increases an automaton's time by 24 hours. Now, as I stated in the previous episode, I don't like having the time limits, so I have disabled those. Just because... Ooh, some meteor dust. Oh, and by the way, even we are on a time limit. We have a lot more time than everyone else, but yeah. These are full of anima. Enough to increase your remaining time by 24 hours. Or you can try giving it to someone else. Oh, these will certainly be helpful. But I'll think about it. There's always someone more in more need than me. If you're willing to use it on yourself, you can try it on the pause menu. Yes, you can now sense where other meteor dust are. The signal will indicate a meteor dust is nearby. You can disable the meteor dust radar on the options menu. Handy to get early on. So, yeah. Uh, let's see. We got Vanna who can give us some advice on what to do. Again, I'm going to be forgetting names. We have Olga. Nice to see you. It seems you don't remember how to craft items, am I right? Here, let me help you with that. First, take this blueprint. War Axe Blueprint. Now all you need to do is get the correct materials listed in the blueprint and use them at a crafting table. Yeah, that's what all those materials we are crafting are for. I have some more blueprints available if you want to take a look. Could always use some more bolts for my projects. So what are you in for today? And yes, when you're talking to them, if you have meteor dust, you can offer it to them. Not only will it extend their time, but it will also raise the number of hearts they have. Once they reach maximum, they will give you something special. And there are certain characters you want to get right away. For example, this anvil. This is something I've been working on for quite some time, Alma. It's a portable crafting station. 
With it, it will be possible to craft items anywhere. Cool, huh? It's not ready yet. I hope I have enough time to finish it. Like I said, it's not a matter of time, it's a matter of just giving them enough meteor dust. But yeah. We can use a blueprint for a war axe. And it'll automatically take it, but I don't want to wait make a war axe. This guy! Oh, never seen you around here before. Bzzzt. BB42. I'm BB42, the local blacksmith. Bzzzt. Olga created me to be an expert on weapon upgrading. Bzzzt. You want me to upgrade your weapons? Bzzzt. We're gonna upgrade our weapons, and allegedly, if we give him the dust... Actually, now that I think about it. Of course, it also costs materials. Let's see. Guides. Oh, here we are. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see, gives us a discount and the scavenger chip. Enemies will drop items more frequently. Not a bad thing to get. But not something we really need right now. There is one thing that I would like to get before anything else. Uh, not in here. Alma! I can't believe it! Anna, it's you! Oh, y you... you remember me. Let's see. Anna, Anna. Not Vanna. Anna. If we give her Meteor Dust and Rex max it out, we get a better health chip. Not high on my priority list. Ah! Uh... I I'm sorry, I just got a little carried away. You, me, uh, uh, I'm so happy you're back. If if you need any materials for your crafting projects, I, I can sell them to you. You know, I love collecting stuff from the human ruins. Yeah, she's a junk shop we can buy crafting materials from. Let's see. Hey, Alma. Oh, it's really you, Ariel. We can get the Elemental Blade, which you can see in the upper left corner right there. Basically has all the elements. My sister told me you were alive. I couldn't believe it. Uh, sorry. Who are you again? Oh, girl. Okay, let's start from the beginning. I'm Ariel. I make and sell weapons for the automatons. My sister is Vanna. Do you remember? You do remember her, right? Oh, yes. Okay, now I get it. Nice. My sister is not like my weapons, you know? She prefers to fight barefisted. But I know you. You're a master of both swords and guns. I am? Well, you sure used to be. I'm sure you'll be back in shape soon. So, if you need weapons, you can find them here. I'd say we're good for now. Hey, be careful there, Alma. This is a weapon I've been working on for a while. It contains powers from all elements. Fire, thunder, and ice. But it's not ready yet. I hope I'll have enough time to finish it. Again, that one's one of my priorities, but it's not the one I want specifically. Oh, we got some meteor dust nearby. Alma, so it really is you. Let's see, Cecilia. Let's see, we get a parry damage trip. Increases the strength of the user's attacks after a perfect parry. Given how much I use that, I might want to get that. You don't seem to remember me, huh? I am Master Cecilia. I'm Raquel's former master, from even before you trained with her. If you need some combat training, just talk to me. No, I think we're good. Eh, knowing me, this is gonna be the... Nope! I was gonna say he's gonna be the last person I find. Oh! Alma, it's you! Oh, hey. I'm sorry, I don't think I remember you. It's me, Samuel. Don't worry, Vanna told me you couldn't even remember her at first. We used to watch a lot of old human tapes together. You loved it. Especially the anime, remember? Uh, I think I do. A little bit. Since you disappeared, I've started researching human technology, and my main specialties are computers and chips. If you need some extra chips, I can provide them to you. Thanks, Samuel. And this right here, this is going to be our number one priority when it comes to unlocking stuff. Hey, careful with that. This chipboard? I'm not done making it. When it's finished, it'll make it possible to equip chips anywhere instead of only at terminals. That is incredibly useful and good for when you need to change your chips on the fly without having to run all the way back to a terminal. 
I hope I have enough time to finish this research. But we don't really have enough meteor dust to get it right now. We need two more pieces at the very least. So it's gonna have to wait. Oh, hey, Tobias's pet shop. Oh, it's you. It's really you. Let's see, Tobias. A companion, damn it. Well, that kind of spoils it. But yes, we can get companions in this game. Oh, it's you. It's really you. Hey, hi. Sorry, you are. I'm Tobias. You don't look like you remember me, though. I own the pet shop. I take care of dogs and such. However, since the last battle with the humans, my dogs went missing. If you happen to find them, can you bring them to me? I'll see what I can do. I hope they're doing well. It's so dangerous out there. I'll be waiting for you, Alma. And yeah, we gotta find all his pets. But, like I said, they can become companions for us. And this, this is important. But we can't do anything with it yet. Uh, let's see. Ooh, here's another one. Okay, so we've seen most of it. We've already seen the gun that Vanna was going to give to us. Uh, ah, here we are. Howdy, welcome to the cog farm, dear Teresa. She sells cogs, and she can give us discounted on cog. Yeah, discount on cogs, and a cog durability chip. We haven't really talked about cogs yet, but well, we're about to. Howdy, welcome to the cog farm, dear. I'm Teresa, and I'm helping Vanna and the others with my effect cogs. What? You don't remember about cogs? Okay, sweetie, I'll teach you about them. Cogs can give you temporary buffs. It's really neat. Here, you can have these two as a treat. You got an attack cog. Increases damage dealt by melee weapons by 33%, and a defense cog. Protects the user from taking damage. These aren't that hard to come by, so you don't have to hold on to them for too long. Just use them. You can also craft them. Olga has some blueprints for cogs in there. I suggest you go and take a look. Or if you just want to buy some, I can sell them to you. Thanks, Teresa. I'll give them a try. And yeah, these things are very useful. Uh, the attack cog only lasts for 20 attacks, though, and... Oh, good, they changed that. Used to be it would change every time... Or it would decrease every time you made an attack. At least that's how it used to be for me. Uh, yeah, I don't think I can get that. Yet. Now, let's see. These are just buildings we can't really go into. Let's see if I'm not able to get around to this one bit of meteor dust. Uh, nope. Not yet. Okay, well, that's pretty much all of Cog Village. There are some other NPCs we have yet to meet that we can give Meteor Dust to, but they're not around. Okay, Deep Woods. We're going to start finding enemies around here. Like these guys. Ah, shoot. And because we have a flaming weapon, it burns him. On occasion. Let's see, ooh, there's some meteor dust very nearby. Somewhere around here. Yeah, gotta be careful using this sword, as it does burn through our stamina very quickly, and we don't have very much to begin with. But yeah, this is basically the meat of the game. Pet berries are going to be very important to us. Good, managed to get both of them. And we've got this. Don't know where to put it yet. And yeah, this will work. Let's 
see. I don't... Yeah, no, I can't do that. Okay, I think priority number one is going to be focusing on getting up to the... Getting that bit of gear, because I believe it is what I need. In order to get to a lot more places. This game does have a bit of a Metroidvania-esque-ness to it. In which, as you progress through, you're going to be getting more uh, gear that helps you get through this game. Uh, nope, don't think this is where I wanted to go. Oh, yeah, the illusions can still hurt you. For some reason, the right... I was going to say, the original isn't attacking me. Alright. And of course, I got to do all this again, because I left the area. So, this is it, huh? Don't worry, Joanna. I'll be back soon enough. Why does it have to be you? Anna thinks she can control us. It's not fair. You don't have to do it just because she asked. Hey, it's not about here. I'm doing this because I want to. There are some of us left out there that haven't gone unsighted yet. They deserve a chance too, and I'm going to go help them. And from all the automatons left in the village, I'm probably one of the most qualified to do so. It's so scary around here without you. All right, Joanna, I'm going to be back. I, I love you. Love you too. Gabby, is she ever going to come back? She went to the outpost on the industrial sector west of here. Vanna told her to deliver some weapons to the automatons there. You know, the ones that haven't gone unsighted yet. If you happen to go to the industrial sector, can you check on her for me? Okay, so that is the direction we need to go, but... Oh, hey. But I want to take care of this. Alright, that opens that up. Which means we can grab this. Run all the way back around. And then we can toss them both in here. Which in turn lets us get this meteorite dust. One more we can get that chipboard. Unfortunately, I am missing an extra orb. Ah, oh, well. I'm sure it's something we'll find later. Ooh. Pathway to downtown. Oh, yeah, I forgot there was something else you could do to regain health quickly. Alright, first death. No, oh, Alma, we need you! Oof. And that takes us all the way back here. Phew, for a moment there I thought we were done for. And don't forget you can parry enemy attacks by pressing B. Yeah, yeah, stunned. 
Oh. Whoops. Anyways, if you press X when you're, uh... Ooh, did not mean to do that. Anyways, if you do Okay, didn't want to do that either. If you double tap X when your, uh... Health bar isn't full... Or when your ma stamina bar isn't full, then you get a... Rapid restoration of it. And it disappeared a little bit sooner. But you gotta be standing still to do it. Okay, let's get these bolts back and then deal with these guys. Okay, beetles out of the way. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to come back here with some boot. Ah, uh, with something else. Problem is, that's my only way forward. Ooh. But hey, we get some meteorite dust. Which I believe gives us all we need to get to the... The, uh, portable chipset, but I want to get another terminal. The uh, question is, how do I get down there? Is that... Guess they're too close to each other. Yeah, that's fine. Hmm. Alright, I was under the impression you couldn't shoot things at a lower elevation from a higher one, but whatever. Hey look, another terminal. You can use this to teleport to other terminals you've visited. This is so we can go back to the village easily whenever we want. Hey, this... I think I remember it. It's the bike Doctor used to ride. It doesn't seem to be working anymore. Alright, let's get a bit of a recharge, because I could use it. And yeah, usually wherever there's terminals, there's crafting stations you can use. Homa, look out! It's that thing again! Yeah, and I've already killed three. Two at the same time. I don't think it's safe for us to go this way. Let's try to find another path. You serious? Nah. Heck, with my flaming sword, I'll have an easier time. Ow.
I'm sorry, what was that you were saying, Iris? Hmm? I heard something. Ooh, and some more meteor dust. Oh, there it is. Alright, I'm just gonna go back and recharge instead of using the syringe. Now then, there is actually no path to go down that way. So there's no shortcut you can take if you manage to defeat the monster. You actually do have to go this way. Alright, now let's see. Distress signal's somewhere around here. Ah, oh, yep. Delivery log three. I can't give up just now. I promised Vanna that I would deliver this piece of equipment to the Gear Village. I wasn't expecting this many unsighted around here. Things have gotten way worse than I imagined. I'm sorry, Vanna. Vanna? Vanna? Eh. Oh my, it's Natalia. She didn't make it. The piece of equipment that Vanna mentioned, the one Natalia was delivering to us. It must be around here somewhere. Well, let's hope so. Otherwise, this is going to be a very short game. Let's see, something we can use. One, two, three, four, and five. You're going to want to remember these. Because that's the order in which we got to hit these switches. One, two, three, four, five. And there we go. With this we get high jump boots. Press A to jump high. Hey, it's the high jump boots. It's what Vanna was talking about. I wonder what... Be careful! Yep. You missed. Now, technically, you are supposed to be using your uh, high jump in order to get past some of their attacks. Like that. But yeah, you can also just parry them. Not that difficult. Ow. He says getting hit. And down it goes. Alma, are you okay? Alma, talk to me. Ooh, memories. Aren't you afraid, Raquel? What? 
This new girl. I've sure heard she's way more capable than you in combat. <laughs> I'm not falling for it, Vanna. <laughs> I'm sure you are. Hey, I'm back. I've just finished showing the meteor crater to Alma. Raquel, can you help her with the sword training? Say hi, Alma. They're your friends. Hello. Hi. I won't go easy on you. Okay, so they didn't start out on the best of terms. Phew, you're back. My head. It hurts. What happened here? You dozed off after the explosion. I was so worried. Do you feel better now? Yeah, I think. The automaton you just defeated, it was guarding the high jump boots. I think it's better if you keep them. With the high jump boots, we should be able to explore the city further in search of the meteor shards. There are two meteor shards near here, one in the underground caves and one in the museum. We should probably try to get these meteor shards first. I'll mark the location of these areas on your map. Now, you can go after them first, but as Vana stated, you can go after them in any order you want. And, but anyways, with that, we are out of time for this episode. So, if you guys like what you see, please leave a like, subscribe for future content, don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications when I upload, and please leave a comment down below this video. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.